Cork man John Spillane is back with a new album and a new six part series for TG Cahar in which he travels to Tipperary, Kilkenny, Cavan, Westmeath, Kerry and Mayo to celebrate life in an Irish town. RTE10 met the impish troubadour to talk music growing up in his own Irish town and why his new show is more than just a marathon pub crawl. It's a six part series. It's going to be starting on the 15th of September every Sunday night on TG Cahar uh, at 10pm. A good slot, I think. It's called Spillan and Fawny, which means Spillan the Wanderer, and it involves me wandering around Ireland and going to six small towns and working in a pub behind the bar and meeting all local characters, learning about the local history um, and um, local legends and stories, and writing a song about each town. And the six towns are Greg Lamanna, County Kilkenny, Castle Island, County Kerry, Feather, County Tipperary, Coot Hill, County Cavan. Kilty Mock, County Mayo, and Castle Pollard, County Westmead. What's the use of a truce with the goose and the loose? Make peace with the geese. They feathered in, feathered in, feathered town. In feathered town, the sun goes up and the sun goes down. The old clash all he flows around. I wish I was in feathered town. So he's been all over. But surely for a road hardened veteran like Spillan, they knew him in all these places already. Um, some reports had gone before me. But I hadn't been to all those places. I'd, I'd been to Castle Island and I'd been to Feathered. I'd never been to Coot Hill or Kilty Mock in my life. I'd never been to Castle Pollard. You know, so they're kind of off the beaten track kind of towns, but all towns with rich history and, um, you know, a lot going on. We do meet very colourful characters in the pubs of Ireland and there's great character in Ireland and in the pubs. For example, like in Coot Hill, there was the world champion um, turkey plucker. You know, and this man has been on, you know, every kind of show under the sun and he's in the Guinness Book of Records and he's the world champion turkey plucker. Where would you get it like? Did you have a go yourself? No, I didn't have a go at the turkey plucker. Um, and then in Feathered, Tipperary, we met the, the pheasant pluckers. And they were a musical group that were very interesting and very good. And they used to say, I'm not a pheasant plucker, I'm a pheasant plucker's son. And I'm only plucking pheasants till the pheasant plucker comes. Yes. It's hard to say that with people. I know, there you are. What about people? I might say this is just an excuse for a kind of a, a one marathon kind of pub crawl. No, because I wrote six songs about six tones and the songs were so good, Alan, Alan Carr, yes. that I got a, a record deal. Uh, with Universal Records and the songs have been recorded to a high standard and will be released in conjunction with the show on an album called Life in, in, in an Irish Tongue. So I had six songs about six tongues, Alan, and then I wrote the seventh song, Life in an Irish Tongue. The kind of gen generic overall song. And that's coming out, um, that's the title track of the album, which will be released 13th of September on download and 29th of September, perhaps 27th of September, in physical release. Now it's a, beautiful, it's a beautiful album. You yourself are from Bishopstown, which I suppose once was a small town before it was absorbed, I suppose, into the rest, the rest of Cork. What was it like growing up in Bishopstown when it was a, a small town for you? Very good. Well, um, I came from um, Laburnum Lawn, um, you know, semi-detached housing estate, suburban area, um, on a gentle hill on the west side of Cork City, and across the road, three doors up, Jimmy Barry Murphy. Who put the ball in the back of the net? Jimmy Barry Murphy! Woohoo! So um, we used to have great games of ball on the Ridgeway Field up at the top of the park with Jimmy Barry. Finally, there's no Dublin towns on this, sh uh, this show and the series, John. Obviously, the second series will be all about Dublin. Would that be true? Well, you know, now that I've written, now that I find that I can write songs about towns, I could chance a few cities. But you know what's interesting to me? Some counties have no song. Right. Apparently. I won't mention what they are, but some counties have no song. So and I, I could say, welcome to the Hit 30, Factory. That's 32 songs. You, you did the, the Hit Factory with, uh, with Mr. Kerr, Kerwin a few years ago, of course. Uh, would, would you be interested in doing kind of Sufjan Stevens, uh, you know, intended to write a song with every state in the union? What about you writing a song for all 32 counties? Certainly. Well, the, the door is always open for business in the Hit Factory, Alan. And, um, you know, who are you going to call? Like Ghostbusters or the Hit Factory?